The hills are alive with the sound of engines. It's race day at the Austrian Grand Prix. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position with Pierre Gasly alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Vettel, Lewis Hamilton and Leclerc, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Grosjean and Daniel Ricciardo, Stroll, Sainz, Lando Norris and Perez, Albon, Giovinazzi, George Russell and Robert Kubica, Raikkonen and Daniel Kvyat completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the okay, track. Okay, the run into turn one isn't too long, so the pack will be bunched up. Take care. Let's get the car up to temperature. Bottas ahead, gap to car in front is 1.2 seconds. They're on fresh softs, their tyres are one level.
create some energy harvesting, reduce ERS deployment. Box this lap, push hard on the in lap. Confirmed, we'll receive you at the end of this lap. as you leave the pits. Release, release. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Turn up the ERS deployment and burn some of this energy. Pierre is in the pits. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Okay, the car behind is catching you by five tenths a lap. Five tenths. is gaining on you by five tenths a lap. You've been awarded a time penalty for that last incident.
Vettel is behind you. The gap behind us is 4.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are seven laps old. The time last lap was a 1.9.9. Vettel behind. Okay, the gap behind is 4.9 seconds. They're on old mediums. The time last lap was a 1 minute 9.9. .9. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. job, you've done everything we wanted today. Victory for the team from Milton Keynes then, after a quality performance. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Kimi Raikkonen is my standout today. Nothing you could construe as showboating, just an incredibly consistent performance out on track. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.